Hello, hello, this is Lars and welcome to Vesteros. I am going to play as... Well, Ned Stark. And uh, we're playing the Game of Thrones mod, which I've been looking forward to try for quite a while. And um, I did test it out for a couple of minutes uh, earlier, just to see what kind of game or g a mod it is. And it's really cool, it's story heavy and it... It's just really cool. So, the Targaryens are all dead or in exile, but that's scant consolation for the death. That is that is scant consolation for the death of Ly Lyanna, Brandon, and father. At least the Northmen can live in peace now. So, we're. Um, I think. Magic mode? No. What? what? Brathion, yeah. I know. I know Brathion. Let's see. Can we find the uh, regions? No. Future kingdoms, empires, no, high lordships, yeah. The high lord of Winterfell, that's me. And, uh, oh, buggy, that's fine. So, uh, let's have a look at this. Factions. I want to start um, a faction right away, so I get to be the head of it. So, I want to start the Crown Loyalists faction because I'm loyal to the Crown. And let's see, our we have Rob and John and Lady Sansa. And my wife is also my lawyer. That's cool. And uh, kidnap. <laughs> no. Let's have a look here. There are a couple of characters that I would like to have a look at. Um, so, Chandra, Prince Joffrey. I want to know what you do. Can I kill you? No. <laughs> and Robert, I'll probably get to know what you're doing anyway because you're my liege. So that's that's fine, I guess. There's ton of things I have to uh, look into here, but Lord Rob is my son, and he is my heir. the old Lady Sansa and young la Lady Sansa. Okay, sure. Um, so look here. This is all of Westeros, and that's all we actually get to see. We don't get to see uh, anything outside of that. Now. There are actually one thing. There's one thing I want to check out here. Um, are we able to find, for example, I think we should be able to find um, uh, is it then is it the uh, yeah, Daenerys. She's a courtier in Bravos. She's quick. She's attractive. That's a bunch of good genes. So, uh, let's see, could we maybe, I don't know, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's do that, let's, uh, you can go, yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> So this is alternative history, of course. You should <laughs> should be able to see that already. Let's see. A couple of days, just take some stuff here. Oh, somewhere. Where are you? Shouldn't I be able to see where you are? Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Here. This was actually a small independent thing, I think. So we should see a bunch of troops here. We could actually go down and help him. I don't know what kind of a, an army we could actually muster, but that, that's pretty decent. Just my own little army here is almost 4,000 men. Jorah! Hoorah! <laughs> Okay, um, that's fine, and um, Leech Loyalist Faction, that's inside my own realm, that's cool. Exceptional Military Ruler, that's awesome. And, uh, did anybody join him? No, 
nobody joined him, so... Okay. I'll pick an ambition. We should probably pick an ambition right away. Increase the size of the domain. So, we should probably start inside our own High Lordship, just get control of that, because we can have a pretty decent domain, but as long as we're... If we are able to at least get a couple more here, uh, it'll be good. So, this guy, I don't like him. He's my master of coin though, so I don't like him. He's a banker. Lord of Castle Serbian. Okay, let's... It's an easier way to figure this out. So, under me, I'm, the, I'm not the strongest here. This guy, I want to keep simple character. I want to know if you start any trouble. Okay, so Ruse, Wyman, Brun, Brun, yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of guys here, of course. Okay, so this was not an easy way to look at it, of course, I th didn't think about all the other guys. So, um, this guy has his... Carados is probably pretty weak, as he doesn't really... Yeah. Uh, he's one of the weak ones. He has... He has 668 guys, right? And then this castle, that's Sedrian, that's Med Medger, 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 yeah. He's a bit stronger, it seems. Yeah. So he's. He actually has 1100 guys, so either of those we could just pick off pretty easily. Now, um, hmm. is there really any reason to? Base tax, 4 point something, 5 or something, okay, so he's, yeah. Okay, so this guy. Oh yeah, because he actually has a proper castle, or two of them. So, wait, what could we actually do here? Can we revoke the title? What happens? There's 100 prestige. I don't have 100 prestige, so I can do it anyway. But he will hate me. Everyone else will hate me. Um, who's his heir? That's his heir. So we only have those. So if he dies, and he would actually die. Let's just try. Uh, and we'll just auto invite a ton of guys here. Oh. oh! Lord Paramount Eddard, the realm is in a state of war, and as such. As such, I, your liege king, command you provide men to support my armies. Regards, yeah. Yes, I will defend him. Will join King Robert in his offensive wars. No, I don't want to do that. Now it's time to break free. No. Uh, I will defend him. So I'll join his war. And. Yes, oh, long live the king! Sure, why not? So. Oh, okay, so now I'm actually explicitly part of the war, so I... Oh, that's cool. <sighs> what were I doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was actually plotting to kill somebody. So, let's see. This will tick in. Lord Brand, no. Castle's bloody gates. Okay, there seems to be some elective stuff there. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? And oh, yes, this is cool. The betrothal between Lord Rob and Princess Daenerys actually happened. So... I want to keep track of her, though. She's a weak claim, but it can actually be inherited. That means that... 
if Rob and her actually get some attractive genius sons, they, they will actually have a, tr a cl proper claim on the Iron Throne. And they won't be ancestors anymore, so... This guy... Could I now say I want to educate a child, this guy for example? And I will do it myself? No. Child will be a hostage in a foreign power? No. Really? You don't say! <laughs> Dangerous factions, that's the loyalists, that's cool. Limited crown authority law, yeah, sure. Uh, and the uh, war ended inconclusively before I actually even raised the troops, which is fine by me, I guess. And, uh, hmm. Alright, pick an ambition. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's try, <laughs> try to keep focus. Yeah, I want to increase the size of my domain. Uh, if I don't want to increase... So this I get anyway. This is 25 prestige. This would be 100 prestige. Yeah, let's do that instead. And I'm going to kill that guy, so... It's going to take a while. But I think if... Yeah... And yeah, Balon, you, you do what you want. I don't care. The wars between the great powers of the realm have subsided for now. Until next time. Robert becomes a new liege. Didn't I have... Oh! He's not actually my liege right now because there were actually a civil war. Like, you know. I like that mechanic, actually. So... When that happens, we're not. I'm not his vassal anymore. I'm an ally in this war, and then I'll help put him back on the throne. That's cool. Okay, I'll uh, take a quick break here, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 